Yeah. Um, you know what's not getting better though, DC. Um, and I'm just saying that because we got our first look at David Corrinsweet's Superman. Um, a lot of different opinions have been going out there about this one, and it's really the first look at anything regarding James Gunn's DC Cinematic Universe, the DCU. Nayan, what did you think at our first look at David Corrinsweet's Superman? Well, the my very first look before I had to process anything in my brain was I woke up, grabbed my phone, and I was scrolling, and I saw it, and I had to do a double take because I thought it was Henry Cavill. I was like, whoa, he's back. <laughs> and then I read the caption. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I had a shower, and I actually properly looked at it. And I, and I think it was revealed in the wrong way. I think the suit mm-hmm. will look better in motion and when we get a proper not-so-CGI'd AI whatever you know <laughs> rendered yeah. sort of photo when it's like actually in a real live action environment i think it'll look better but just based mm-hmm. on that alone it nah it's not good eh it's like this the pants is light blue and then like the top is like dark blue and there's like a big black stain across there is that an actual stain or is it dirty because he got hit like with a blast or something i don't I don't know. And then you're bringing back the trunks. The trunks are outdated. Like, move on. Just have a red belt. That's where it's at now. This is the, you know, 21st century, not fucking 19 whatevers. And then, what what the fuck is happening in the background? I see a lot of people saying, yo, that's hype. You don't even know what it is. It's just a massive green purple ball thing. Like, like, why did you reveal it in that way? You could have just had a simple, like, overlook of Metropolis and just have the Daily Planet there. And it would just mm-hmm. be so much better. I think Heroic Hollywood did that. They like touched it up. I don't know if it was Heroic Hollywood, but I know they mm-hmm. either posted or reposted someone's version where they, they got rid of the shitty black stain. They like brightened yeah. up the colors. And then the uh-huh. backdrop was Metropolis and it looked fantastic. Like I was like, I wish that was the fir- first look video because <laughs> that looks way better than what we got here. And then the yeah. suit is like baggy. Like it's you can see like the crinkles. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't look like it's going to fit right. I don't know if it's because yeah. he's sitting down, but you're not really showing off Superman's physique if he's like wearing a baggy hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's putting on the suit or about to take off the suit in that photo? He's putting on, but he's taking a long time to put it on. Like, why would he take but it off? It's the, like there's burn a, already. <laughs> yeah, but there's a big ball behind him. Like, he hasn't sorted <laughs> that out. It could just be a fireworks display. A very impressive one. So, we don't know, man. We don't know. Yeah. I uh, yeah, so, sorry. I'm like what, you. Wh- one more thing, and they brought back yeah. the curl as well, which I don't have an issue with. But in that photo, it looks like it's if it's like gonna be over like here instead of on like here. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> it could be the camera I mean, angle. I, I don't care about the curl. I just feel like if you have the curl, it's just gonna be an absolute bitch to work with in filming. Like, just it doesn't. This doesn't need to be a curl. It's it's cool. <laughs> Um, but no, no, it doesn't, it's not necessary for live action. I am like you. Yeah. I had to look at it and I'm like, oh wow, this looks, um, I thought it was fake and like AI generated. If you had like a really advanced AI saying, Hey, imagine David Corrin sweat and Superman with James Gunn's aesthetic or something like that. I feel like this was exactly what you would get. Uh, especially like you said, the backdrop, I don't think we needed, you know, this big ball of light. Um, yeah, but the suit itself I think it's it's far too similar to what we got in Man of Steel, but also different in the worst ways. Like, you know, you got the crinkles in the suit. It looks cheap. It looks like you something that you could buy. I think I could go out tomorrow for the whole day and I could find something of this quality. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look good. I wish it was, and I hope to God it's not an official film still, but... First impressions are important, especially when it is the absolute, you know, first look at this new cinematic universe. This is the first thing we're seeing, and this is what it is. Uh, I, I think that that's it, it's it's not the way to reveal it. Um, we remember the Batman costume reveal. Sure, the set picks look, um, yeah, the set picks for um, the Batman, the costume, it looked so bad, but it was like from a set. And then they did like an official reveal. They did, you know, I think it was like the red and, yeah. and the, the black. It looked awesome. And then like um, um, the score as well. 
Yeah, yeah, you got a bit of a taste there. This one, it's done the same thing by having a marketing photo as the first look, but just done poorly. Honestly, you probably should have done a video, kept it simple. This, yeah, this, this just isn't it. I think it's just a bad first impression, and it has a has a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. I know it's no reflection on the movie quality itself, and people are probably going to be like, "Oh, you're overanalyzing it. It's just a costume or whatever." But I mean, I think they th these things like. Uh, they add up and they do affect the way we view a movie going into it. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. It's just it's just one still, one picture, a few pixels. But yeah, it's um, I'm just I'm just curious to see what the the trunks are going to look like because they do seem like they are going to be there. Really? Um, <laughs> I mean, but like how it's going to look in, in live action. I I know we've seen it before, but now oh, it's, it's in gonna, it's gonna, in today's era, it's going to look it's weird. Just, <laughs> it, it's gonna look weird like even in yeah. games and like tv series for superman they don't have that anymore you know it's just a real yeah. so they understand but mm -hmm. i guess yeah. james I mean, gunn is trying to capture or capture the roots of superman you know the humble beginnings but if he did that why the hell is the suit so fucking dark yeah yeah no I completely agree it seems like it's trying to you know balance the best of both worlds there I honestly think Henry Cavill's Superman suit is as close to perfection as you can get, at least for uh, a modern day uh, version for Superman in terms of the live action cinema. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen. We have James Gunn doing it. I'm sure the movie will be better than Man of Steel, at least. At least fingers crossed for that one. Otherwise, the question to you guys, you will see in the picture of David Corrinsbury as Superman. It looks so much like Henry Cavill, but the suit looks a lot worse. If you disagree, comment below, or if you agree or have more thoughts on it than what we've said here, be sure to comment below and share your thoughts and we can have a discussion from there. Otherwise, 